Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be carrying on our free to play to Masters series. So where we left off yesterday, if you guys checked out that episode, uh, we did push a lot. And then I think we lost a couple of games, so it tilted back down. But it should be really quick to regain uh, when you're at the lower levels. I believe the ELO distribution is a bit... Uh, heavier when you pick up a win or a loss. So we've got a couple of boxes here. I did complete a few quests today already. I can't complete that hot zone one, uh, unfortunately, but I will I do not when it's back in the rotation. So anyways, I've got two uh, boxes. Don't really expect to get anything from these, but we're just going to go ahead and open them anyway. I said I would always try and save the boxes or just anything I need to open for the video. I'll just get some power points for my brothers. So again, I've not really upgraded anything so far. There's not really any point uh, to upgrade anything. I've only got 20 brawlers and you've probably seen in my previous episodes, every single pick is just max at the moment. Uh, so I'm hoping to at least uh, get some different uh, brawlers to max out. I might potentially uh, level up Griff because he's a, a brawler that you can play in a lot of different situations. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, level up Griff as well. Only two powers away from getting his gadget. His gadget is going to be able to break open wood. So that might be pretty decent along the line. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into the games. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so heading into this game. Currently 1-0 up. We've completely outdrafted the enemy team. I got first pick. I picked up the max, obviously. It's an open map. Max and mid is decent anyway on this map. But uh, yeah, we've got the Brock and Colette, two really good lanes. And they've got a Dynamite and a Squeaks. Definitely not... Uh, good brawlers to have on this map so i'm gonna already get clipped here uh, but yeah pretty plain sailing at the beginning the only worry was dynamite sneaking up in that left corner uh, other than that we just completely uh, uh obliterated them so i'm gonna try and get this dynamite out i'm gonna probably get him to waste some ammo yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and leave him now we've got a 50 percent leave as a leader for just at least try and occupy him for a little bit whilst our teammates do damage to the safe so it should be ggs here no way uh that they're gonna able to come back maybe okay maybe they are i don't know what our brock is doing here okay brock should be able to get some final shots onto the safe that should be gg right there really nice basically got carried by my teammates didn't really have to do too much so hopefully we get some good elo inside of that i see there's a uh, Diamond Tourno team, that's an alright elo, trying to untilt here, let's jump into the next game. Alright guys, so going into the second game here, we did win the first game again, so up against a Tara Cole and a Dynamite, so just looking at this combination, I knew Nita would be okay, I think I was like the first pick again, Nita's just decent on a hot, uh, hot potato, unfortunately I'm going to have to play her mid, uh, so basically the way I'm playing is, all of these brawlers on their enemy team uh, composition have good base race potential, so I've got to be making sure that none of these sneak in and do a lot of damage, and I'm just going to hope that my teammates just go up and more than likely just leave me to defense so i'm gonna get clipped a few times here see just dynamite just running up constantly that's all he was doing in that first game was just running up trying to get as much damage as possible but he doesn't realize that our body also does a lot of damage as well so nita's a good counter to tara as well we're only 50 percent up here so just a perfect start we needed i'm gonna use gadget on the uh, Colt doesn't really come into play there, so it does actually help me in a few gunfights so this uh, gadget has, even though it's not even a good gadget in 3v3 in general normally, uh, this helps me definitely on my mini count, so I'm going to stun the pet there, which is absolutely hilarious to see, I don't mind kind of clipping our M's there, got to be really careful of his Colt sneaking up, we're just going to try and get some pressure in the middle here, our Barley missing all the shots, at least he's able to hit that one, I'm just going to keep wall peeking here, Trying to stay alive. I'm going to try and sneak in on this Colt. 20% left. It's only a Barley Super away. There should be GG's right there, hopefully. I mean, half the time, this Dynamite was just jumping around. So, we're facing two Dynamites in a row. I kind of feel bad for the enemy team that people are just going uh, Dynamite. But, yeah, that's going to be one game away from Diamond. Hopefully, on our way to Diamond 2 as well. Let's jump into the next one. All right, guys. So, jumping into the second game of Siege. Again, already 1-0 up. Our composition is completely trash. I have no idea why our, uh, people have picked these uh, brawlers, but it's whatever. Tick first pick. I don't even know, but somehow we're able to win the game there. I think we've got every single siege robot as well. That's the only way we're going to be winning this game. So hopefully our tick is able to stay alive here. He's able to bank it, so that's fair enough. Yeah, there's no way we're going to be losing this robot here because our dynamite has that right side on a lockdown. You love to see us. So yeah, that's going to be the first round going to us. Again, we just can't lose a single robot, else we're not going to be able to defend at all here. Hopefully we get this Jesse in time. I'm just going to pump my super. You know, it could be seen as a little bit of a waste, but that bolt is definitely really important for the next Siege robot. So one to two uh, going up forward here. So our Dynamite is going to be our main damage dealer here. So that's what the one thing you've got to assess on Siege. Uh, look at your composition, see who's going to deal the most damage and try and protect them and get them towards uh, the Ike. So I don't normally go in on the first Siege, to be honest. I just normally... I'll just get that one for pressure. 
Uh, so I'm just going to use super here so I can get that bolt in the middle. Got to be careful this Jesse can shotgun as easily. This dynamite's just dying over and over again, which is pretty painful to be honest. He's not going to hit that super as well. And it looks like we're probably going to lose this one. Even though we've got our first robot, it should be so easy to keep control. We're just not keeping it. So I get rocketed by that Brock there. It's going to be hard for me to push this Gene. He's got no ammo. I think I'm going to die here. Okay, Gene is one shot. Okay, we really need a good defense there. I have no idea how we're going to get defense with a double thrower and a max. Uh, yeah, it's going to be painful. Hopefully the enemy team don't push up too much. Else we're definitely screwed here. 50% on the robot. I mean, Dynamite can do... A bit of damage to this boss. Okay, at least that's the kill there. Uh, boss going to go down eventually. Jess is going to go down. Okay, this is looking good. They only dealt 50 well, 56% to our Ike. So now we just need this last robot. I'm going to be winning this game at surely. So speed up tick here. If we get this gene down, it's basically GG. He's one shot. Come on, finish him off. Finish him off. Get him nice, nice, nice. Okay, all the bolts are in the middle here. Oh, no. This is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. I don't think I can kill this Jesse in time. Come on. I need a little bit of help here. No way. Oh, that's going to be a tie. Yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. Maybe if I had a brawler that was uh, going to be able to do more damage, I could have killed that Jesse. But kind of hard as a max to just kill a Jesse uh, like that. So, yeah. There's no way we're going to be able to win this one, unfortunately. Unless Dynamite just comes over this right-hand side and we do a load of damage. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he's just going to run into the middle of this time, Mike. <laughs> he's so bad. He's so bad. He literally is defining his name right there. I don't know why he's saying it to himself. It should just be called I'm Trash or something like that. So, yeah, going into the second round here. I mean, third round. We need to hold. We need to hold better, right? So, we win that first robot. We should be able to hold so much more easier. But Dynamite just died. And then it's kind of hard for Max to really output. Uh, enough damage to really do anything so i get this first bolt again which is pretty good our tick's just going to get shotgunned by that jesse but dynamite's all on his own there he should be able to get that bolt uh, with ease and i think he did okay nice yeah so it's going to look good we're going to get this bolt for the next round as well so just like last game it's looking decent they get the two bolts so for the next round uh, hopefully they don't get any good defense here dynamite needs to stay up this time and then we might have a good offense finally so yeah dynamite stay alive please you're all damage dealer. No dynamite. What am I witnessing on my screen? Ah, oh. what? He didn't even die to an enemy. He didn't even die to an enemy. He just died to the Ike. I, I don't know if he didn't know that he was speeded up or what, but that was just really awkward to see. But luckily enough, we're able to get a triple kill there and finish it off. So it looks like we've definitely got this round for sure. Dynamite just needs to collect these bolts in the middle. I'm just going to keep right on lockdown. Even though Dynamite should be the one that's lane, uh, we'll just do whatever we needed to do right now. So Dynamite going to get tapped a few times. Don't really care about that right-hand lane. It's going to be hard for me to stay alive and kill two people max. So I'm just going to push over there. And of course, again, Dynamite gets pulled. It's just not what he's supposed to be doing. He's got to realize that he's the damage dealer here. He should be trying to stay alive. Tick goes down as well. And this is exactly what we didn't want. So at least we're in the okay position for the final uh, siege and they're not on defense either so we've got to finish it here if dynamite gets up in time come on dynamite get up in time hopefully i can get this just in time okay dynamite's died again uh let's see if tick might be able to get enough damage here i'm not gonna go in hopefully it does okay you love to see it so even though our dynamite died on both offenses we're still able to get the win so we're gonna go into diamond one again lovely lovely so three games three wins let's jump into the next one all right guys so jumping into the second game of this heist hot potato uh series right here so i picked nita first pick again uh for some reason my teammate picks a tara and then angry face me off spawn and then we win that first game tara is an absolutely terrible pick on this map one of the worst ones you could pick and this guy's shooting angry at me I don't even know. Level 7 Nita is definitely better than Tara on this map. So uh, we had a really rough start last game. Uh, as I think Dynamite opened up a few walls. It actually got easier for us to do something. So Dynamite 70 HP here. Hopefully my teammate pinches him out. He's going to go down here. So Colette was also going lane. Tara's going mid. It was just crazy. It just hurts my brain seeing Brawl Stars played like this. But... You know, that's the fun of it. That's the fun of this series to get to see what you guys experience on the daily. So I'm just going to push up here. Looking like our teammates are going to do a lot of damage. Tara actually finally getting on the safe. That's the first time she actually got onto the safe right there. And it looks like it could be a GG straight away. So 
Uh, these guys completely fold into all of our pressure, so I'm going to use stun here. Hopefully on the M's, it's not going to reach in time, but 2% left. That should be a GG. Nice and easy. These games have just been an absolute walkthrough at the moment. You absolutely love to see it, so let's see how much ELO we get there. Okay, halfway through this rank. Let's jump into the next game. All right, guys, so jumping into the next game. This is probably going to be the last one before I've got to head off into uh, Brewmasters, so... Uh, making this the last one we're currently one nil down in this one their composition is just so much better than ours i'm just going to send jesse mid this time because jesse was trying to go lane against pam jesse actually has a good matchup against pam i have a terrible matchup against pam uh but for some reason she wants to go mid so she does get a kill on bell at least uh i'm just gonna have a really bad matchup against Stu. i don't want to go up against us too either i'm just gonna get completely deleted may as well just go up against pam and feed my supers from her so currently for uh, oh, down in gems, and it looks like this Jesse's just given up. Yeah, well, you love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. I don't know what. Uh, what, what would you give up after one single death? They just give up. Okay, Jesse is back. Uh, I don't know if she's lagging or what, but six gems down. I mean, we're close to speed. We can easily get a max super onto an M's with super, and we can get the kill. So uh, nothing to really panic about just yet. So we're gonna get this pam to it down gonna look to try and make an aggro play here on the pam okay at least we've got a little bit of uh position on these guys but again we're only a max can't really do too much with it and we're up against a stew so at least our ems has super here she's probably going to go down here gets completely wrecked and that's more than likely going to be a gg i don't know why uh our teammates didn't ban stew just every single map just ban stew but that's more than likely going to be uh the loss here unless ems can do something here i mean stew is spinning He's spinning against a level 7 max. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. That's going to be GG zone. There's no way we're going to be able to come back from that one. So, yeah, that's going to be an L. That's going to be the final game of the episode. But didn't really make too much progress, I don't think. Our teammates are quite high. Yeah, I mean, we made some progress. Uh, definitely a lot of wins on the way. Yeah, we definitely made a good progress. There. So, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. As always, it's going to be pretty hard to make a ton of progress every single episode. So don't think I could just whiz through go to line masters straight away. I've still got to build up my brawler pool. Still got to like upgrade brawlers. I've still got to play outside of power league to level them up so let me know as well if you want me to show that uh like me pushing to like 500 trophies just like one game or something so i can show you guys my progress that type of stuff so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time